Well, hello and welcome back to another RV walkthrough. As always, my name's Taylor Quayle. We're here at Padata RV Center in Tucson, Arizona. And today we're gonna take a peek at a 2017 Thor Miramar 34.1. It's a double slide class A gasser. It's on the Super Duty chassis with the V10 Triton. It's a double slide out, full body paint, and it's actually a bath and a half model. So we'll be able to see that here in a couple minutes when we get inside. But let's start with the exterior walk here. We'll start on the passenger side up front. First off, your Michelin tires, 235-80R, 22 and a half. Day code on them, they are original tires, 1616. And one of the options on this coach, like I said, was full body paint. That's what this coach does have, so a nice gloss coat on it. Moving over right past the door, we do have your 32 inch outdoor TV, a couple power outlets right there, two exterior speakers, and you got two massive pass-through storages right here. Same with the other side. Very nice. As you can see, you got a quick connect for propane, furnace, and then this is a potable water. Look at that, you do have another pass-through right here. It's a skinny one. It looks like you got a power cord on the other side, but it's still there. Fresh water tank. And then this slide right here, get out of the sun. In the rear is going to be for the bed. Got an air mattress in there. We got propane, 31.3 gallons. Oh my god, check it out. Another, I mean, technically a pass through, but you got a whole bunch of tanks in the way, so not really, but. Forgot to mention, nice big electric condom right there. Just push a button, she'll go out on her own. One thing I love that they're starting to do, I mean, not consistently, but you got fuel fill in the back. That makes it so much easier dealing with smaller gas stations and not truck stops. 8,000 pound hitch, seven way right there. And then we got to check out the roof because there's some solar up there. I think there's at least one panel. So let's go, let's jump up. All right, so all the way up front, you can see that solar panel. I'm thinking it's a 200 watt, could be wrong. And you got your AC, local TV antenna, fantastic fan cover, other AC, Coleman Mach AC. Yeah. And of course your slide topper and top of the awning. Continuing on, it's gonna get a little loud with the gen set. Get the hours for you inside. second before we continue on give you a nice peek at it another option if I didn't mention it yet frameless dual pane windows throughout now of course 50 amp power service got to have that for both the ACs and then we got the other side of those pass-through storages all your compartment doors are side latching so much easier to deal with especially while you're under the slide and this last compartment, batteries, hydraulic pump. All right. Last but not least on the exterior, we got the hood area. But before that, we do have backup camera, side vision camera on there also. It does have the little LED strips under the headlights. We got that chassis battery oil tranny checks, your horn, radiator, all that fun stuff. And then this cover, these things are pretty cool. They're pretty, you gotta lock them while you're holding them down, otherwise they just stay up. So if you're ever replacing the battery or anything, you're not gonna get smacked in the head from the, from the hood. All right, that's the exterior. Let's jump inside. I'm gonna take my jacket off first though. All right, I got all the compartments shut, so you can take a quick peek at this. I also got the awning going in. It is automatic, so you just press it, start going in, and it starts working its way in. Same with while it's coming out. All right. Ooh, that's a little loud. 
Here's what you see right when you walk in. So I got the bedroom shut off right there behind that door. In. All right, so let's start up front. We do have a drop-down bunk right there. Comes down, should have like a about a queen bed area. A little bit smaller. Now, on the left side of the cab, mirror controls, leveling jacks with auto level, emergency start, your shade control. And then we got generator, dash fans, cab lights, dock lights, backup camera, side vision cameras, both right there. And then your AC controls. Missing that. Mileage, 18,222. Very nice. And over on the other side, passenger side. Get up a little pop-up desk. Always nice for them. And then they do have, oh, whoa, there we go. Power connections right there. Both your seats, they are manual seats, but they both do turn around. They actually look to be in pretty darn good condition. I don't see any rips or tears or marks or, you know, cracking, anything like that. I actually look quite good. Come on, camera turn. All right. Now we do have a little bit of storage up above. It's not much because we do have that overhead bunk. So there you go, it all connected left and right. Now your bunk. That's what I guess we'll look at now. Has a couple pens in here that you lock in place when you are gonna be traveling. Here it is. Your button just above the entry door. Oh, let's look at this. 403. You see that? 403 hours on the gen set. Slide controls, generator start, water pump, and then water heater. Bed lift does have a specific key for it to raise and lower it. Let me show you. Comes down with the push of a button. Some good Jeopardy music here while we wait. Now up top, what you got is a platform for either, if you've seen those kind of teddy bear mattresses, it's the perfect height for one of those, or you can put an air mattress up here that you deflate. Obviously the ladder goes into these, and then not really much cubbies, but stuff to kind of keep stuff somewhat in place. So this drop down bed. As you can see, you could still even sit down in the front chairs and turn them around. I mean, if you're short enough like me. All right, let me put this bed back up really quick. All right, bed is back in place. So let's start on the first slide out right here. Follow this molding all the way down right past those two recliners. Does have your leatherette dinette sleeper and your two recliners right there. So first off, I love I love Thor's dinettes because they always put like a little back piece in these Miramars. So yes, if you are watching TV from that angle, it's not too bad because you got that back piece. Now we should have, <coughs> yeah, oh look, there's the air mattress. A little bit of storage under there. I want to say it's only on one side. It is. All right, so now of course my printouts as usual. If you want, you can just email me or call me. I'll put all my contact info on the screen or in the description box. If you want to get more info, we're selling this guy for 90 grand. There is your floor plan. Get a little angle correctly. Specs. Everything highlighted is the options I found in this coach. All right. So your shades on this guy, you do have your slow rise, nighttime shades right there. It looks like, looks, looks like that's it. I was wondering if there was some daytime shades. Looks like it is just blackout night shades. And then we do also have those kind of dual pane windows. That's how they come out right here. A top one does not open, but you will have most of them will have that kind of twisting slit open a little bit. All right, continuing on. Thomas Payne collection, dull recliners. Does have seat belts in them, a little bit of storage. Manual reclines. As you can see, all connected storage. I'm gonna turn her around here, go back up to the front and check out the kitchen. So right before the kitchen, at the entry door, you do have your auto gen start, disconnects, light controls, inverter control, stuff like that. 
And kitchen, it's not bad. I do wish there was a little bit more counter space is really my only complaint. I'm glad that the solid surface countertops do have covers because that will act as some additional counter space for the appliances you're not using. So up front, up front, up top, nice big storage area. You do have a residential style microwave right here. It's not a convection. And then a little bit of something must, I must have put this back on when it was still pretty hot because this metal piece of corian is uh, lifting a little bit. Free burner at wood with a little oven in here too. <clears throat> Three of those drawers and then some storage here. A little bit of nick it looks like right there and some Sharpie fix maybe. That's probably what they use the most for storage based on that with that trash can area maybe. Dual bay sink. That's a little more residential faucet. And then, oh, I didn't even open this drawer. Pots and pans drawer down here. Small pots and pans. And it does also have a real backsplash, not just a stick on thing, so that's nice. Now, one reason we got sold some solar and the inverter is this Whirlpool refrigerator freezer. This is an electric only fridge and freezer. It does, as you can see, have the ice maker pretty big area for your fridge but it is electric only something to keep in mind and then just to the right of that pantry you got two shelves up top and then two pull outs below that all right next up before we hit the half bath is going to be your little entertainment area if i own this coach my seat is right here. <laughs> so what is that, a 40 inch Vizio? And right here, not a super deep compartment, but enough for some remotes for the fireplace. Ooh. So you do have controls directly on the unit too. You don't have to use them just on the remote. I've seen some like that. Local TV antenna right above us. And then, Coleman mock thermostat. And we do also have your rapid camp system. If you haven't seen this by four, it's pretty cool. All it is, is it gives you controls for lights, levelers, generator, awnings, and slide out. So very nice. You can literally have that in your pocket, put your slides in and out, start your gen set, all while you're outside the coach. So looking back here, got some closetry, closetry to the right, an area for a stack washer dryer, bedroom back there, half bath right here half bath as usual it's a little tight but it's it's really nice if you are traveling with a lot of people a little raised pedestal corian or corian porcelain toilet decent size storage for some tp back here and then we do have a little baby fan and your medicine cabinet single sink and more storage down there bathroom now directly to the right of us this is a little skinny right here because no slide out so it is a little tight but you do have some additional you know you could have used it as wardrobe they probably ended up changing it for more food storage which it's hard to blame them drawer there stack washer dryer would go right here oh, that door's gonna shut on me so you got power hookups probably behind that panel up there on the left. You got your water lines. And then a little bit drawer down there. All right, now we're on a little bit more of the meat and potatoes of this thing. Got your main bedroom here. Now, before you mention anything, I know the bed looks like a dang freaking water bed. It is an air mattress, so it will fill up and look a little bit more normal. But a queen air mattress on here, and this is where your additional slide is. In front of the bed, all your storage, TV, fun stuff like that. So queen bed, oh my gosh, how did I not turn these lights on? With your standard, I mean, this never changes. I gotta stop showing you so much. Your standard overhead compartments that always look the exact same. Another one of those safety 32 inches, so three TVs in this bad boy. Your tall, tall wardrobe right here with removable shelves if you want some sundresses or really long jeans for tall people. And you 
got three drawers here. This one is a little bit not as tall as those guys. Another thermostat for the second AC, light controls. Look at the charging station, a couple USBs. Emergency exit is directly right there. Probably a little tough to get out of if there is a fire, but it is right there. Additional wardrobe, a little multimedia player. Looks like it does that Bluetooth on that Jensen device too. So this, like I said, is the slide out room. So when this slide right here comes in, you will lose access to just about everything in front of the bed, except for that top wardrobe storage. You could still access the rear bath by jumping across the bed. And that rear bath is actually right here. So not bad, you got a lot of counter space in here, almost more counter space than the kitchen. Another little porcelain toilet, a little bit taller there all the extra storage there i do wish it had a couple you know drawers or stays something to hold all the tp you're gonna put in there like sink and then look at all this kind of medicine cabinet hey put wallpaper peeling in there another negative about arizona coaches it's hot all right and last but not least in the bathroom we got your shower. I'm pretty sure it's a two by three pan. Oh, it's actually like a two by two pan. Maybe a 30 by 30. You can see a nice tall skylight in there. If you're tall enough to have your head in the skylight, well, at least the, your chest can get a little wet. And that's pretty much our walkthrough. So if you've seen my videos before, you know what's coming next. We're about to shut the slides and give you an idea of what it looks like in travel mode. So I will do that really quick. And I'll get right back to you. Like I said, slide controls are directly to the left of us. All right, slides are in. This is what it looks like while you are traveling. So, easily accessible. Easily, all the way to that half bath to the left. If you wanna get back to the real bath, maybe you gotta drop a number two. You don't want everyone to smell. You can, army roll across, get back there and do, your, and do the dirty. Let's get outside, see how she looks. Let's hope I remembered to shut everything on the first try. No guarantees. And then, of course, we got sun to deal with again, so I'm sorry to get you in the sun initially. So driver's side. So if you have any questions on this Miramar or any of my inventory in general, I always put my contact info down in the description box put my cell phone number in my email give me a call shoot me a text let me know how i can help i do have some downtime as an rv salesman so i love helping people out and helping them find their dream help their dream come true so thank you so much for viewing hope you guys enjoyed hopefully you learned something and i hope you have a great day